Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to fix or at least diagnose uh, the printer error, see your documentation and contact support on uh, the Epson Workforce WF2510 and this applies uh, even to similar models but uh, we have uh, a 2510 today and uh, I'm going to show you uh, how to diagnose this error because uh, this is a pretty uh, common situation in printer repair where uh, uh, the most difficult thing uh, is to understand what's wrong and not to fix the problem actually. So if you power on the printer, uh, the printer is an Italian actually because I am Italian but uh, you know uh, it's the same actually it's also in English it doesn't tell you anything more it tells you printer error see your documentation in my case the printer tells you uh, error stampante vedere il manuale so uh, printer error see your documentation contact support so it doesn't tell you anything more than this I mean if you even if you uh, go to the computer and uh, open the properties of uh, the printer go to uh, utility Epson status monitor 3 tells you error there's an error with the printer it's pretty generic uh, deletes every uh, print job uh, open the scanner unit and remove any jammed paper and then restart so it doesn't tell you anything more than this but uh, there's a way to uh, understand what's actually wrong with the printer even if the printer and the driver doesn't tell you what to what to look for so you have to download and I have a link in the description of this video with uh, for this software uh, a software that is called Wick Reset and uh, that's the software I'm talking about if you open the software it will detect the printer uh, this software is free it has some functions that uh, you need to pay for but we are using the free functions for this uh, for the purpose of this video uh, if you hit reset waste counters it will ask you for uh, a code that you have to buy but we are not going to reset the waste counters today so if you hit uh, click status will tell you that there's a fatal error okay that's what uh, we already know so if you click report it will uh, actually show you the full report of the printer and uh, this is a very important page because uh, actually inside here we can see some very good information on uh, what's wrong with the printer and as you can see it tells you exactly what's wrong or at least it gives you an error code and uh, uh, some information about the error code so in this case is uh, uh, 0x89 insufficient light error PIS failure fault detection plate failure mainboard failure in cartridge failure so at least we have a des description of the error so there's insufficient light or PIS failure so what is a PIS? this is the moment where you need to do some research or contact me in the comment section and uh, tell me uh, I have a printer with uh, this description of the fatal error code and I need to know what's wrong with, with the printer but uh, if you uh, find uh, the service manual or anything that uh, uh, tells you the description of uh, every part inside the printer for this uh, PIS failure we have this description detecting ink cartridge and initializing ink system to check the operation of the PIS sensor and to detect ink the CR unit moves back and forth between the CR unit and near the APG lever for two times. Okay, so it talks about uh, a sensor that detects the ink cartridges and uh, initializes the ink system. And it gives you uh, very good information to diagnose this problem. So it tells you exactly uh, the CR unit bo uh, moves back and forth between the CR unit and near the APG lever for two times 
So two times, it has to move two times on that sensor when you power on the printer. But uh, if we open the scanner unit and uh, power on the printer, well now it's powering off, but uh, we'll power it on right away. Uh, let's see how many times it tries to initialize that sensor. Okay, so now it moves over here, then over here. One, two, three, four. So it moves four times and it does not detect, well the PIS sensor does not detect the carriage and uh, cartridges and it gives this uh, insufficient light error. So in this case, if you see, if you watch inside of the printer, you can actually see that the this is very very dusty inside here there's a lot of dust and if you watch on that rail on that sensor that is caked on with dust there's a lot of dust on that sensor this is the sensor that we are talking about this is the PIS sensor and this sensor detects the presence of ink inside of uh, the cartridges. The cartridges have uh, a little transparent window at the bottom of them and uh, when the carriage passes on that sensor it detects if there's ink inside of the cartridge or not. So if you see that sensor it is so dusty so I'm going to take a, a brush and uh, gently brush that sensor clean it accurately. So I will have to clean the entire printer of course but at least we can see if this fixes the problem that we have with this sensor. So give it a little cleaning with the brush. Okay now you can see there's no dust inside of that sensor and uh, we can uh, restart the printer and see if uh, the situation changed or it's the same. So let's restart the printer and see if, uh, well, how many times it passes on that sensor and if it gives the error again. So one, two. And now it, it did the correct amount of moves on the sensor. It moved two times back and forth. So one time and another time. Two times on that sensor. And it give, didn't, didn't give us the, the printer error see your documentation. Well, there's, this, this is just one error. I mean, not in every case. Uh, you will have uh, uh, 0x89. You will probably have uh, uh, another error inside of your printer. So, I mean, you have to do some research. You have to download the Wick Reset utility, do the report, and uh, have a look at what the report says. Then you have to search for uh, what the error is and try to understand where you have uh, uh, the error inside of the printer. Uh, a few things that can cause the, the, the fatal error inside of this printer. So the printer error see your documentation is even some uh, dirt on uh, this strip over here. This is the CR encoder strip. This strip, even if you cannot see at uh, in, in the camera or even at, at the naked eye, it's really hard to see. It's a strip with uh, a lot of black lines, vertical black lines, and this is the way that the printer have to detect the position of the CR of the carriage inside of the printer. So you can actually uh, take the carriage just a tiny bit to the right, then uh, on this side you have a gear, so you move the gear towards you and this will unlock the carriage and I will let you see possibly what happens when you move that gear. So you have to watch inside here where I have my index finger, okay? So now you move the gear. You can see that there's a white lever inside there that moves when I move that gear, okay? So if I move the gear towards me, now the carriage is unlocked. 
That, that is pretty easy to, to do. And uh, you have to look carefully that uh, the entire CR strip, uh, encoder strip, is clean. You can clean it with some glass cleaner and some Q-tips or some uh, paper towels. And uh, be sure that that strip is clean, because if it's not clean, uh, the printer doesn't have any idea on where the carriage is. And that can actually cause um, an printer error seer documentation. Another thing that I've seen uh, uh, sometimes, and pretty common, is that something falls inside of the printer, but it's not very obvious. So uh, usually something like a paper clip or something that is very, very small falls on this rail. So this rail over here. And uh, as you can see, the carriage uses this rail to move onto it. And uh, if something gets inside here, well, if it's in the center, it's easy to see, but when the carriage moves towards that area, now you can't see anything over here. And uh, the carriage, it's uh, always in the home position over here. And it's hard to see inside there if there's something. So you have to unlock the carriage and uh, watch carefully if there is something inside there. And uh, the same, at the other direction over there. So you have to watch carefully if there's something inside of there. Uh, at the end, when you finished, you can do a couple of things. If you power on the printer with the carriage like so, or well, not locked in place right there, the printer will run a cleaning cycle because it will understand that something is different, uh, that the carriage is not in the same position where uh, I left it when I powered off. So yeah, you can lock the carriage back in. You can uh, uh, take the carriage to the right side, then push the gear to uh, the other side and now the carriage is locked. You can see now it's locked in place. So when you power on the printer, The printer will not uh, think that uh, there's anything wrong because the carriage is in the same position where he left it uh, when uh, powered off. So that's it. As I said, it will not be uh, the same error code for every one of you. I mean, you can uh, uh, download Wick Reset, do a report, read the error codes on there and do some research based on that. But I think that that's a very important thing to to know when uh, the printer does not tell anything, that doesn't tell you anything about the error code. I mean, the, it tells you there's an error code, good luck finding that out. But if you download the Wake Reset tool, you get at least a description of what the error is. So, Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it and find it useful. Uh, if you did, I would appreciate a like on this video, comments if you want, if you need any help with uh, any repair that uh, you are trying to, to do on any printer you have. And if I helped you save some money and avoid sending your printer to a technician, you can use the thanks button under the video here. You can make a free donation to just uh, tell me you appreciated my content and if I helped you in any way. So thank you uh, and uh, see you to the next video. Bye.